Hi gardening friends. Hey, I thought I'd do a quick update on my um, Fox garden. If you recall, this is like a southern garden behind my house next to the garage. So it's protected, it gets full sun. And I was out here when the flocks started blooming. Well, they're still blooming, not in full bloom, but they are still blooming. But they're also, um, the seeds are popping today and they make this little snappy noise. But this is what the seed pods look like. And they just, I just heard what they, they pop themselves out and they spring away. And that's why I have flocks all over the place here because they self sow pretty readily and they cross with each other. So we end up with flocks with different heights and colors and disease resistance differences and just kind of a fun thing. But I was sitting here and I could hear them popping. And I thought that's kind of interesting. So if you grow flocks, if you don't want them to self sow, you've got to cut them off before they get to this stage. And then the other fun thing in this garden, although the, we'll get to that in a minute, I guess I want to show you the brown eyed Susans are still going. And this is my lone sunflower that some chipmunk planted for me in a container that I just had sitting there and wasn't using this year. I've also got a um, shorter Joe Pye cultivar over here in the corner, which I keep telling myself I need to move because it's too dry there, but it grows. The gold, goldenrod's gonna have to get purged at some point because it's gonna take over this bed. Not that it's that noticeable with all the flax. Oh, there's oh, a poor little butterfly bush trying to grow down in there. I don't know where that bowling ball came from. <laughs> it's a garden ornament, but it's not supposed to be right there. And we still have carpenter bees in the flocks. There's one there. I did notice some bumblebees, smaller bumblebees in the hardy azuratum. Of course, now they're not here. Um, the hardy azuratum can get aggressive in the garden, but the daylilies seem to hold it in check right here. Plus, this is probably a little dry for them because they stay shorter in this bed. And um, the bed where I have them in part shade, they're almost three feet tall here. Eh, maybe 18 inches or so. So some of the flocks are done. But this is what I wanted to show you. I wanted to show off my colchicum. So this is one of the early varieties. And each clump started out as an individual bulb. And what I was doing here originally is I was edging this bed with different varieties of colchicum. So what I like is the Angelina sedum, is that chartreuse green with this pinky purple. Got some sedum, probably autumn joy behind it. This bud has terrible quack grass. That's the seed head, the quack grass. Quack grass is just so hard to get out of the garden because it runs underground and it's you can never get it all out. So, the garden's kind of grown, so the poor colchicum are kind of buried. Here's another variety. And here's another one back here. Whoops. Here's one hiding here. So what I really should do is take out this flock that self-sewed itself there and this one so that I have because look at these poor guys are hidden down in here. So they were the front of the garden at one point. So I think this year we're gonna have to do a little marking and then next year, I don't know if we'll try to do some rescue. I know 
there was a path in here and I think there's actually some culture coming this path. So the lamb's ears is coming along. The culture come could come up through that. So if you remember anything about culture come, the leaves come up in the spring and then they go through their life cycle. They're, the leaves are done by like mid June. They're kind of dormant at that point. And then, oh, end of August would be the earliest for some. But September is when a lot of the culture comes start blooming. And they'll bloom, depending on the variety or species, right into and probably through October here in Western New York. So I've got a couple different varieties here. But just wanted to do a little quick update on this garden. You know, it's winding down, but the pollinators are still finding the flocks plentiful. And we've got some goldenrod. And I, I think this little lemony yellow one I planted. There's a dwarf one, lemon yellow in there or something like that. That might be that, but that's taller than I think it should be. But it is a very lemony yellow compared to some of the other golden rods. So this bed needs some work. Got a little neglected. But it's full of uh, bulbs in the spring. So we'll do, do a tour of it in the spring too. But I did want to show off the culture combs. So enjoy your day.